Happy May 1st, St. Thomas's. Kelly and I miss seeing you all in church very much, but we're so grateful that we have these tools and mediums available to stay connected during this unprecedented time. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. And today is also a feast day in the Episcopal Church where we celebrate St. Philip and St. James, the Apostles. More on that in a minute, but first I would just like to speak on behalf of our Stewardship Commission and thank all of our pledgers who have completed their pledge for 2020. And for all of you who are using Tithely, our new tool for Sunday uh, online giving, we, we appreciate all the gifts. And one of the very positive things about this time is that we've seen this big uptick in our Sunday live stream service attendance and we're connecting and reconnecting and activating new pledges and we're and we're reconnecting with St. Thomas members and former members that no longer live in the area and it's been wonderful to see so uh, thank you all very much. Um, I'd like to read a little bit about the two apostles commemorate on this day. They're among those about whom little is known except for their mention in the Gospels. James the Less is so called to distinguish him from James the son of Zebedee and from James the brother of the Lord, or perhaps to indicate youth or lack of stature. He is known to us from the list of the twelve, where he is called James the son of Alphaeus. He may also be the person referred to in Mark's Gospel as James the Younger, who, with his mother Mary and the other women, watched the crucifixion from a distance. Philip figures in several important incidents in Jesus' ministry, as reported in John's Gospel. There we read that Jesus called Philip soon after calling Andrew and Peter. Philip, in turn, found his friend Nathanael and convinced him to come and see Jesus, the Messiah. Later, when Jesus saw the hungry crowd, he asked Philip, How are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? Philip's practical response, 200 denarii, would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little, was the prelude to the feeding of the multitude with the loaves and fishes. In a later incident in John's Gospel, some Greeks came to Philip asking to see Jesus. At the Last Supper, Philip's request, Lord, show us the Father, and we shall be satisfied, evokes the response, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. And we'll end with a prayer. Almighty God, who gave to your apostles Philip and James grace and strength to bear witness to the truth, grant that we, being mindful of their victory of faith, may glorify in life and death the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.